Thank you so much for watching and before we forget, guys, if you like the channel, make sure that you click on the subscribe button. That way you can get all the updates, all the free videos and all the free resources that I give out to my subscribers. All right, let's look at the two minute FISO application. You will receive a .exe file from me that will come as a zip file. So you'll have to unzip that, double click on it, agree to the end user license agreement. Make sure you read all of that um, and then proceed and you get a key from me that you can paste in here and you click OK and your software will open. Now, basically what I want you to understand uh, with this two minute uh, FISO is that all this is going to take me longer than two minutes to actually explain you exactly how it works. <clears throat> but once understood, it shouldn't take you longer than two minutes literally in order to analyze a deal and make sure whether or not you want to investigate further or you just want to bin it and move on to the next deal. Um, you've got to make sure that uh, all, these, um, all these different parameters um, and your averages that you're going to use in this, make sure they are right. Um, and some of them I've actually tried to take out the guesswork in them so that uh, so that you get them as close to real as possible. However, uh, nothing can actually compare a real detailed financial feasibility. Now, this is not a detailed financial feasibility. This is a one page financial feasibility application that you can quickly use and make sure that you don't spend a lot of time. And that's actually going to make the difference because a lot of people will be spending a lot of time not being able to figure out how exactly do they vet deals. Um, but you, because you've got this calculator, you should be able to do it in no time. Uh, I'll just quickly explain you how the sheet works. You can press the print button and you can print this page. Um, you can also save this as um, and save it as, um, I don't know if you want to call it, uh, let's say I just put it on the desktop for the time being and I call it one, two, three, test project dot, no matter what you choose, it's actually going to save the file as a dot exe file because it, it's now converted into an application. However, at the background, it would need Microsoft Excel to work off. Okay, uh, thumb rules, everything in blue requires an input. So it's an input cell for you to put something in. Um, everything in yellow has a formula. You probably can't even select those formulas. Um, those formulas are all hidden as well. So you won't be able to, um, you won't be able to accidentally delete these formulas and I kept it that way so that uh, the integrity of the application is maintained. Um, again, um, everything that blue requires something, some inputs, and then we've got some, uh, some metrics that you can look at and play around with to make sure that you are not paying more for land. The whole idea of doing this is making sure and determining what is the maximum price that you can pay for land. So if your if your land value is actually if if your calculation shows that it's actually lower you can actually do this feasibility go back to the vendor go back to the agent and say look my fees are says that's what it is and that's how you know for me to be able to make 15 percent development margin that's what i can pay now if you want to go ahead with that they go ahead with that otherwise you move on to the next deal without wasting any more time and also just remember that you've got to do this you got to be passionate about what you're doing, but you also got to be detached. Um, and by detached, I mean, make sure you've got like 20, you're looking at 20 different deals at one go. And the reason I say that if you're looking at 20 different deals, you're not attached to any one of them. You have not invested yourself emotionally in any deal. And um, if you if you do invest yourself emotionally in any deal, make sure that it, it's it's something that you know about. I don't for me, this is this is pure business, and I only look at a deal with pure business. I don't see what the deal could do to me, or if I land it, or if this works out, I'll be this, that, or, um, or I don't know. It'll be like a like a, it'll be like a feather in my cap. So I, I have to do this deal. I just look at pure numbers, and I make uh, a business decision. I do not make any other decisions. Um, 
any any decisions based on any other feelings or emotions so let's start with the um, with the feasi- understanding the feasibility uh, you start on the left side um, basically you put in the land value let's say 900,000 that you're buying the land for stamp duty um, I'm from Victoria in Victoria the stamp bu- duty is approximately 5.5% I put in 6% because I wanted to allow 0.5% for extra expenses, other acquisition costs like legal structure setup and so on and so on. And it because it's it's not a detailed feasibility, it doesn't matter. I just add 0.5% um, just to cover myself up for all different expenses. So I put in stand duty at 6%. That gives me the total ex- acquisition cost at 954000 after you got the total acquisition cost, uh, you've got land value um, for every townhouse or unit or apartment that you are developing. So if you were to put 10 over here, you'd be paying 95,400 per block of townhouse or per unit or per townhouse. So you For the land content for every townhouse or unit or apartment, um, the, the the land value the total acquisition cost has to be divided by the number of townhouses for example so let's say in this scenario we've got four townhouses uh, that we could be plan on putting on this block of land that we've got for nine hundred thousand we paid about fifty four thousand in in settlement costs uh, including stamp duty and uh, we're going to put four townhouses on them when i put four townhouses on them i would that basically tells me is that i will be paying two hundred and thirty eight thousand five hundred dollars per townhouse for the land content. Now let's determine what the construction cost is going to be. Um, you come back down to this section where you've got converter um, and I'll just delete that at this stage because I want you to understand if you're from Victoria and you're used to putting squares, so if you put an 18 square house, you can put 18 square house that actually this section, this converts it to 167 23 square meters uh, sorry meter squares um, and if you're from Queensland or New South Wales and you are already used to using square meters just put in that you're gonna develop a, a 150,000 uh, sorry 150 square meter house um, that sorry a 150 square meter townhouse so you put 150 square meters and it picks up the price here um, you can't change this price um, and then the estimated construction cost over here you just put in uh, whatever construction costs you get um, in Victoria we've got this ballpark figure of about fifteen hundred dollars per square meters that's what I've taken and um, if you think it's sixteen hundred you put in sixteen hundred and then you get the total construction costs uh, multiplied by um, the, the, the build area so in thanks for watching the video all links are actually in the description if you would like to download a free resource which is the free property development blueprint you can do so from my website by clicking on free blueprint and you should be able to download everything so make sure you check out uh, propertydevelopmentsystem.com.au and also the links in the description below i'll see you next time